Hey everybody, Larry Lawton here. I have a video that had to come out because I talk about this stuff. It's been all over the, uh, the feeds and people ask me as an older guy and an OG here, what do I think of what's going on with this, this sketch thing? Well, let me say something. First of all, what Sketch did is none of my business, your business, anybody's business. In fact, I don't believe he owed an apology. I don't believe that apology was good either. Uh, and here's why. Listen, I support Sketch, trust me, 100%. Everybody knows that this channel is LGBTQ+, very friendly. We don't give a shit what you do in the, your own home. I don't care what you do in a hotel room. I don't care what you do on OnlyFans or this fan or family fan or whatever. I could care less. I really don't. Uh, and I don't think you should. A couple of things struck me very, very quickly. And uh, I, I don't know. How do I say this in a different way? Here's what struck me. First of all, I don't like the fact that he had to say, oh, I had an addiction issue, so that's why I did it. If that's the case, you know, I don't know if that addiction makes you do that. I think you did it because you did it. Big deal. You made some money. Uh, obviously, it wasn't his first time. Elephant in the room. I saw four outfits, <laughs> and I saw these videos, and I'll tell you what, man. I'm more impressed with what he can do than about him coming out as whatever it is he's coming out as. And I, listen, I haven't heard, and I, nor do I care, uh, that he said, oh, I won't do it again, I'm changed. You don't have to change, Sketch. You are who you are. Either people will accept you or they won't. This dude, Sneeko, I, I, I listened to him on a, on a feed, and I don't know if he does that for views or whatever. Uh, here's a dude, that you could do a very little research, and he was a cuck. What is a cuck? A cuck is a person that lets, I guess, their wife or girlfriend have sex with others uh, in front of them. Personally, good for him. I have no problem with him doing that. That's why I never said, oh, this guy's bad. But how do you think you have the right to say anything about anybody? Listen, I'm not saying anything. I'm trying to support this kid. Uh, Listen, there's real repercussions. I try to tell Nick and the young people around me uh, this, and I mean this from the bottom of my heart. Words have repercussions. Words can hurt people. Uh, obviously, if you're a YouTuber, you're a streamer, I'm sure you have thick skin to a degree. But you know, when you're going through stuff and you're at the worst part of your time or whatever it is, words mean something. Uh, and people say those words with, with vitriol, with, you know, like, like a knife going into you. And this guy, Sneak, who I have zero respect for. Zero. In fact, that dude better not go to prison, because with those lips, he's going to be prey right away. Those lips are, are, are uh, uh, DC lips. Let's just put it that way. And I think you all know what that means. Uh, I don't like the guy. I think anybody who talks down like that, if, if that's his shtick or whatever it is, it's not something I support or like or anything. Uh, I love comedy. So when people are joking now about Sketch or something, I laugh and I hope he laughs as well. Listen, Sketch, you didn't do anything wrong. You didn't do anything with an underage person. You didn't do anything against anybody's will. Uh, there's no allegations of that anywhere. Uh, you did something that maybe the mainstream don't want to do. And who do the mainstream think they are to tell you what you are supposed to like? That's the bullshit part here, guys. Listen, everybody knows Larry. I'm 62 years old. I've been around the block. I've said things on the internet that you can go find and I could care less. Uh, I am who I am. I know who I am. Larry knows who he is. Yes, Larry wasn't a great guy in the beginning. Larry was a gangster. Larry was a robber. Larry tied people up. Larry was a pretty wild young man. I changed. Everybody ch Everybody changes every year. How's that? So don't come off like, oh, you know, I, I changed because I got caught. Change? You just might not do the same things. You tried it. You know, I often tell people, man, try everything once. 
Obviously Sketch did it more than once. That's a 50 timer. I did not have sexual relations with that man. I'm just kidding. I did. Possibly. <sighs> Catch out of bag. I mean, come on, man. I didn't even hear ouch or ooh. Uh, that's pretty funny in my mind. I think that's where the comedy is going to be. Catch out of bag. But good for you, man. And I mean that with all my heart. Everything you did, good for you. Most people are jealous of you, Sketch. Okay, I'll start from the top. Look at this, open and honest. That was me. That was me. It's okay, though. I will tell you what, okay. Because they either wanted to try it or they thought about it or whatever the hell they go through their own mind. They have to vilify another person for do whatever the hell he wants. Go after yourself, man. I don't care who you are. I really don't. I could care less. People who vilify Sketch for doing what he did, those are the people to me that should be uh, looking at yourself. First of all, once a human being looks down on you for anything or whatever, and he's judging you, what gives him or her the right to judge you? Listen, I have my own rules. My rules are this. Do unto others as you want done unto you. Uh, I'm not going to go do something out front of my house. I'm not going to walk naked or I'm not going to do something because I don't know what a, a family has with a kid or something like that. But what I want to do in my own house, in this room, in that room, in that room, in that room, and all the rooms in this house, if I want to do something, it is up to me. If I want to hang from that ceiling fan naked and, and play with myself, I can do that. And it has nothing to do with you. This kid sneaker wanted to, you know, be a cuck to a girl. He's good, good for him. I can care less. It's all consenting adults at a party. My big rule in life is consenting adults. And I mean that with aging as well, because sometimes the aging can't consent, so to speak. So I'm all for doing what you want with consenting adults. Listen to me. That's just what life is about. I'm not gonna go through my whole life. Listen, I got 20 years left on this earth, so I can really care less about a lot of things. I mean, and that's not being morbid, people. That's me being 82 then. And I'll tell you what, whether it's a sneaker or a sketch or this person, or uh, there was some good comments I seen uh, on uh, on the internet. I think there's the, you know, Banks, I think his name is, with FaZe or whatever. I don't know what they are. I'm not a big internet guy, you know, all that. But good for him. Good for that guy helping that young man out. Uh, being in the public eye, so to speak, even me as a best-selling author and, and other things and TV work I've done, uh, you know, I've come to that point where I, I, I'm really not give a shit. Or, but people do, and they feel differently, and they think they have to act a different way. Listen, if it's legal, you're good by me, man. I could care less. I really could care less what you're doing in your own house. Now, I'm hearing that the sneaker once supported uh, pedophilia or something like that. That's sick. Those are the people who need a beat, if I can even say that. Or those are the people who are, uh, believe me, if you look up my past, please do. You'll see what I did in prison uh, with pulling paperwork on people. Uh, who've done uh, those kind of things, and the outcomes were never good. Uh, and I'm gonna say that with, with a heavy heart because I'm a changed man about hurting people. But people have done their stuff. Uh, I love when comedy and comedians will play with this and joke with this, and is it too soon? Listen, I quote guys like Shane Gillis every day. It's epic, I witnessed it, it was epic. Or is it too soon? No, you know what? It's gonna go under the table, and I think in a year, year and a half, two years, people are gonna look at Sketch and say, good for you, Sketch. I hope you stay in there. I hope you keep fighting for things. I hope you uh, are you. And whatever that is, Sketch, you don't have to say it to people, or you don't have to deny, or this. You keep what you want inside. The people who know you the best, you'll talk to. And the people that you have stuff with, you're gonna, you're gonna talk to, you're gonna be friends with. 
And don't worry about the people who are judging you and talking to you and you're going to hear the snide comments at parties. All you'll hear is somebody in the background saying, oh, that's the guy that took the 10-inch hammer or something, you know, or whatever it is. Uh, don't even let that enter your realm. Don't let it enter your realm, and I mean that, because they're not worth it. You don't deserve to have to do that. You just don't. You're not that person, Sketch. You are a person who did what you did. Don't, you don't have to deny it. That looks bad. Or you don't have to say, oh, I changed, I one time I did. Listen, nobody's done that one time with those videos, period. And good for you. I love that you have experience in whatever you like. Who is telling you you are, you, some Catholic school, some bullshit that they're doing shit with people? They're the real criminals. This guy Sneeko, whoever he is, I'm telling you, this kid Sneeko with those lips goes to the joint. He's gonna be the biggest DC in that whole compound. And I'm telling him that, little twerp. Uh, and you know, I don't ever talk negative about streamers or people, but when I hear somebody talking negative about somebody cause of a sexual preference or a, even if it was a, if it was a gender issue or if it was a, a race issue, I have zero that shit in me. I could care less. I could care less about all of those things. I'll tell you what, in my mind, Sne uh, uh, Sketch, he gets the end pass. He has an end pass right now. He can say the word, you know, the N word, and he gets a pass. I think the people who, who say the word, I'd love to hear some of my great comics, David Lucas or Dave Chappelle, let me hear them say he's got, I think they'd say the same thing, that that kid twi uh, uh, sketch gets the end pass. Listen, he deserves it. I, I really think it's, I love that kid for, I think he handled it well. He came out a little bumps with saying, uh, my producer here, Nick, says that he meant, when he said I won't do it, he meant OnlyFans. Yeah, that was me. Um, I fucked up. I won't do it again. I'm just kidding. Um, well, I am dead serious about not doing it again. That was a dark time. Rough, rough time. 89,000? Who the fuck am I, Jinxie? Obviously, what he did, he did. And he did it for whatever reason, because he liked it, and there's nothing wrong with that. And maybe he likes both of them. Maybe he's bisexual. Maybe he's transgender. Maybe he's cross-dresser. I don't know. He looked pretty pretty tight in those outfits, too. <laughs> but on the real, that kid sketch is going to come out in a year and a half, and people are going to say, look what he did. He showed people you can still do it and be a streamer. Uh, I hope he gets back. I, I, I'm kind of pissed off the jump that the NFL dropped him so quick. I get it to a point, guys, because obviously they're, they're pushing towards a younger uh, uh, younger demographic and they don't want that younger demographic. I wonder how I would be if I had a 12-year-old, 15-year-old son. I probably would say he probably saw that stuff on the internet already and not give a shit. That's me. Uh, and I think kids grow up whatever way they grow up. Obviously, I was abused. People know that when I was younger, and uh, I'm not, uh, you know, I don't like to get into that too much because uh, that whole entire avenue of religion just pisses me off. I mean, it's not, you're not talking about a very religious, I'm, I am zero religious in me. I am spiritual people. I do believe in spiritual stuff. So I'm here as an OG here, and I mean one of the older cats that are, is out here having fun. You know, I, I listen to Joe Rogan, Shane Gill. That's all we do is listen to comedies and, and stuff uh, in this office. And uh, like they say, you got to really love to do what you're doing, to do what I'm doing or they do. We all do. Uh, and I do. I love it. I love making content. I love my cigars. You guys know Crooked Diamond, one of the best cigars in the business. Right there, baby. Crooked Diamond. And it is. And we have, uh, we're back. I got a little update on that. We're in California, New York, Georgia. Uh, we, we are in Germany. So we are gonna be all over the world here. Mm. Ah, you gotta love it, man. This is the time to do content. A Little bit at night, 
have a have a little bit of a white Sponsor. yeah maybe someday <laughs> but guys I just want to say uh, I had to react to this because people did ask me to I'll put this up everywhere uh, hey uh, uh, sketch be you man I'll tell you what as an older cat here I'm not only uh, I, I feel for you I don't like when people's words or people who come out or release stuff can do it just to hurt people. It's gonna happen, you were right. It, it'd be an idiot to think it never comes out. But you handled it well. I'm glad you reached out to friends or they reached out to you. Uh, nothing is worth it, guys. Everything changes. In five years, everybody will be doing what he did. He's just gonna be a pioneer. <laughs> so, I mean, who knows what's gonna happen? Everybody doesn't know. I'm a guy who knows that. From being in the military to being in prison to being everywhere, things change. Life changes. When I went in the military, it was don't ask. It wasn't even don't ask, don't tell. If you got caught doing anything like that, you were kicked out. Kicked out. Out. Where the dishonorable discharge. Uh, or an other than honorable discharge. Now today, don't ask, don't tell. They don't even ask, care what you do. Uh, things change, life changes, and uh, it's going to change for everybody. But with that said, listen, if you're out there and you're looking down on people, you have your right to not talk to him if you didn't want. That's, that, that's preferences, people. But you don't have the right to disparage someone when everybody out there, everybody out there has skeletons in their closet. Every one of you. Every one of you, whether it's sneak owing cuck or you with uh, 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 a guy or you with a monster, or I don't know what you've done, everybody's done. Everybody has something in their past that maybe they're not so uh, proud of. And it could be just something stupid, but you know, that could mean something to you. Or, and I hope it does. I hope words like that don't bother you. But stay safe, everybody. Please give the kids support. Sketch, hit me up anytime. You got my support just as a friend and an OG. Take care, Sketch. Take care, world. Have a great day. Please stay safe. See you soon. Where he was a bottom, dressed up in in, in outfits, made outfits, and, and, and hot, skimpy outfits. And I'm being, believe it or not, he kind of looked like a woman in his own way. And he was taking uh, some very large black... Very, very large. Bla bla black people. Very, very, very uh, large. Anally, and up, I girl? think it's pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? I think I think everyone should. I mean, I, listen to me. What Sketch did to me, I don't was not a. He didn't do anything to me. Number one. Let, let's get. Uh, that I was going to say, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> he <laughs> you didn't don't do seem like his type, uh, <laughs> if I recall correctly. No. Um, I'll never do it again. I disagree with that. He is who he is. He obviously enjoyed it. I'm and, taking and, it as he was saying sorry about. The, I'll, I won't do the OnlyFans again. Well, I, even that. We all know. Why would you even we all say, saw it. We but, know he can't not go back. He's not switching up. No, it, <laughs> listen. I can say this. This is, was not Sketch's first time doing something. There is no question. No. You cannot. First of all, let me try to describe it in the right way here. <laughs> I'd he love had to hear this. a member uh, appendage, ten inches. Would you call that, Nick? I'd say 12. No, I don't I'm know so about sorry. 12, I would say 12. But, well, I would say I'm 12. real small. Dude, it was like a three hander. It was like a three no, hander. It, it, was, it, it, it was a large appendage both in both places. And you don't just do that without even like squinting or hurting or popping. Ooh, no ow. noises, nothing. Nothing. I mean, that's nothing. pretty impressive. Yeah, we watched him together. <laughs> I did watch it. <laughs> we watched him. It was, in, <coughs> you it was not. crazy. It was it was history. And listen, I hope he keeps doing it. Uh, so. He actually mentioned me in a video. He did. Remember that. Future lovers. I think he might have liked you. Yeah, maybe he likes daddy types. What?